Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Paint With Me number two and today I am going to be using my Derwent Inktense watercolor pencils. So I am just getting myself set up here. I'm going to put these off to the side for now and get all my other tools ready. So I'm grabbing some water. I grabbed a variety of brushes because I wasn't sure what I was going to need today. So I got my pencil, I've got my watercolor paper, and I'm just going to start by sketching out a drawing of my hand here. So I'm quickly just sketching it out. Obviously this is not real time, this is sped up. But basically to break it down, I just split my hand up into different rectangular and rounder shapes. And right here I have my color test sheet. This is what I usually do when I'm using my watercolor pencils. It helps me plan out the picture for what colors I'm going to be using. So I'm gonna start out with one of those colors and I chose to pick yellow to start off with. Yellow, if you don't know, is my very, very favorite color. <laughs> so of course I chose to start with that first. And I am basically creating this orb-like shape in the middle of my hand here. And it's going to kind of melt around and do all these kind of swirly shapes. This is kind of what I do with my acrylic paintings. I've been doing these abstract shapes that are kind of biological in nature. They almost look like cells or like branches of a tree to me. It tends to be a theme of mine lately at least that I have been drawing from nature and natural forms for inspiration. This one is sort of that, but I definitely had some other inspiration here. I actually took some photographs, which I can put up on the sides here, of my hand in a bathtub, basically holding a bath bomb. And I know that sounds really silly um, when I talk about it, but I will say it is one of the most interesting experience I have had to just look at water and just examine the shape of how it moves and how it flows and that sort of thing. So that is one of the ways I like to look at nature and other forms around me. I kind of observe them up close and personal and then I kind of take them and change the colors or change the way that they look a little bit to adopt it into an artwork. Maybe this is my inner teacher talking, but I really do believe that as a, an artist, it is one of the most important things you can do to practice drawing from the nature that is around you, from examining natural forms, no matter what they are. It could be a leaf, it could be a stick, it could be the dirt or a rock. Like, it does not have to be an over complex thing, but taking the time to really examine the natural forms of the body and nature that is you and that is around you, I think creates a better understanding of the world being an artist. So to me, that is one of the most important things and for me, honestly, has helped me grow as an artist. I honestly would not be where I am with my technical skills as an artist had it not been for all of the practice I got from just studying and drawing and painting natural forms like the human body or animals or you know sticks flowers trees that sort of thing and so because that was so integral to my beginning as an artist or what i consider to be the start of my journey as an artist now going back to that has felt very full circle for me and i'm really in love with that i think it's indicative that I have maybe grown in a transformative way to going back to those fundamental aspects of what it means for me to be an artist, going back to the beginning 
and revisiting it from a point of experience really feels natural. It feels joyful and harmonious. I'm enjoying the experience so far, but maybe that's why I push for it so hard for other people. Those natural forms helped me so much. Of course, I feel compelled now to talk about it. So if you are an artist or if you are pursuing art in any capacity, no matter what type of art it is, try using natural forms and nature in general as an inspiration. I really, I, I call you to do that because I think for everyone on this planet, it can really be a transformative experience. Not even if you are an artist. I'm just gonna say outright, if you're not an artist, if you're just a human, you walk among this earth, right? This earth is so, so beautiful. And I think that a lot of times we get down and myself included, we feel the weight of the world quite literally on our shoulders because of the fact that there's so much happening in it. Of course, there's, you know, there's pain, there's anguish, there's hate, there's anger and fear and all these negative things out in the world. But if we take the time to really recenter ourselves and try to look at the world around us, there is beauty there. There is love there. There is joy. But we have to allow ourselves to see it is all, I believe. As simple as this sounds, I totally also acknowledge that this may not be that simple for everyone out there. I think there are a lot of spaces that are great for this. Maybe you do have the ability to go outside, to sit in a park or to take a walk on the sidewalk and examine maybe the cracks in the ground or the shape of the flowers by your house. But I understand that there are people that don't have that. And for those who that applies to, maybe those people could examine the shape of their hand like I'm doing here with my artwork or the creases on the folds of that skin there. Maybe it's the shape of your ankle bone and how the skin wraps around your foot. It doesn't have to be anything complicated or specific, but these types of natural forms around just our bodies are an easy, accessible way for us to examine nature without having to go out into the world and without having to go out and try and explore, especially if that's not readily available for us. All right, now I've gone on a long enough tangent at this point. I think for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna leave it up to the music to create the background noise for you. But once I start painting, I'll come in and describe a little bit about what I'm doing. For right now, it's just me coloring in the background and I think I'm coloring up. Yep, I'm doing the nails right now. Yep. There they are. So after I do the nails, I'll come back and I'll talk a little bit about the painting process. But for now, sit back, enjoy and relax and let the music carry you.
All right, so I've wrapped up all of my coloring and filling in my spaces. So I will honestly say, as I'm starting to paint here, there was not much a method to the way that I was executing this painting. I started in the center and I just started to kind of work outwards, which I mean, obviously the whole painting has to get done. So I feel like I could have done this in different sections, but I just started to kind of shape the orange glow around the hand there and allow myself to kind of carry it around into the different sections and then kind of flowed with the piece wherever I felt like those shapes were kind of going. So there's not much a method to this madness, but you can see that I'm starting to fill out those shapes and start to melt them around the hand and around the other colors that I have in there. So as you may have noticed by now, I am starting to try and blend out this hand and the colors that I have on here to make it seem like it's sort of underwater. And the whole point of this painting for me, I think, is to try and make it look like it's submerged in this weird mix of surrealistic colors and shapes and swirls. And at this point, I'm just trying to lead the colors into the other sections as it flows around the painting. And I don't really have much else to share other than that. And I will get back to the music for now and then I'll talk to you at the end of the painting. Enjoy.
all right so if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching i really do enjoy making these videos and i am excited to keep on creating for all of you out there who are watching so thank you again and if you want to see more content like this make sure that you like subscribe leave me comments all that good stuff and here is the finished painting thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye